In 2008, I was diagnosed with a very weird cancer. By the time the doctors found it, they said that I will die before six months. And that day, my life changed forever. When I got the surgery and I lost my leg, I got really depressed, almost to the point that I taking my life. I remember I was talking with my wife and I told her I, I have no reason to keep moving forward. I just want to give up and uh, don't want to be here anymore. Starting scuba diving was mainly by accident. After to losing my leg, my oncologist recommended me to do some swimming. And then a good friend of mine told me, Elio, why we don't try to do some scuba diving? And honestly, the very first time was really, really very, very bad and a very bad experience because no one of us know how to work with a disabled diver. The first time I jump into the water, I sink straight to the bottom. And I was struggling a lot because I didn't know how to propulse myself. So I was crying and I filled my, my, my mask, you know, with tears. My friend grabbed me and he was actually dragging me. And eventually after a couple of minutes I discovered how to propulse myself. And I found my balance and then in that very moment I knew that my life was changed forever. After I jumped out of the water, I surfaced like another different person. I was alive again. The ocean gave me my life back. surface, I was a new creature, I was a new human being. And now I felt the obligation to share this with everyone, bring as much people I can back to life. The cenotes, to me, have an important significance. I think it's everything combined and all that. I mean, it's the jungle, it's the water, and it's the environment, and so many millions of years right there waiting to be discovered, to be explored. For the ancient Mayan world, the cenote represents the entrance to the underworld. Sometimes the Mayans use the cenote to sacrifice people. For me, the cenote means life. I think I'm really connected to this magical place because somehow I sacrificed my leg, but anytime I'm surfaced from the cenote, I feel reborn. Scuba diving is an amazing sport, it's an amazing activity, but the most important thing is you realize that under the water you don't have any limitations, you don't have any disability. You are able to fly. The world record came up to send a powerful message. I was training Trimix, and by the time I jump into the water with two, three, four tanks at the same time, the tourists who came with us into the boat, they came to me and they told me, Leo, 
you need to spread the word about this thing because watching you doing this thing, diving with so many tanks at the same time, seeing you kicking and moving so confident onto the water, it can be very inspiring for some other people. You can help a lot of people, not only for disabled people or even for cancer survivors like I am, but for everyone. It took me 12 minutes to reach 400 feet and almost two hours to do the different decompression stops until I got surface again. I was the first disabled diver in the entire world to set that world record. It was an amazing adventure to inspire and to promote the capabilities of every one of us. Sometimes people ask me if I had the chance to go back to my older life, I will, and I say, no way. The most important thing is do what you like to do and have some passion. And this is scuba diving for me. It's passion, it's pure passion. It's the place that I can find myself in the best place that I can be on earth. This is the medium that I use to express myself. There is no way that I would love to go back to my older life. I'm more alive now and I'm a better person now than I used to be. My name is Leo Morales. My body is how I discover my new self.